Welcome. My guest today is a living legend. Having served as the Federal Reserve Chairman for more than 18 years, he has worked with four U.S. presidents and has been at the center of the global command room of the economies for nearly half a century. It's been famously said, when Alan Greenspan speaks, the world listens. It's still listening, Dr. Greenspan. It's still listening. Welcome to NDTV. Thank you very much. I'm delighted to be with you. Dr. Greenspan, does the U.S. need a stimulus? No, not in the conventional sense. And the reason basically is that what our problem now is an extraordinarily degree of aversion to risk, not so much in the financial markets as in real capital investment. We are at a level now in which the relationship between cash flows in the corporate sector in the United States and the amount of capital investment that is flowing from that is at the lowest level in nearly a half century, I guess. And what that means is that there is a very significant degree of suppression in the whole economic environment. And while it's very difficult statistically to disaggregate where the problems are, it's fairly apparent that a very significant part of it is the extent to which the budget, the fiscal budget of the United States is expanding. Statistical analysis shows a significant correlation between the extent to which this risk aversion is manifesting itself and the level of expected debt. It's not a perfect correlation and it's probably uh, not permanent, but for the moment, it's exhibiting a major impact on the economy. And then again, there's a very great deal of uncertainty coming from the inability to get the regulatory system structured in a manner which there is knowledge of what's about to happen in that regulation system. Whereas now we are still very much in a state of uncertainty. This is bearing down on the system. Stimulus has essentially been offset. Calculations that I've made relevant to this issue is that the amount of stimulus coming forward in the most recent action by the American government has been almost dollar for dollar offset by a contraction in expenditures in the capital goods markets as a consequence of this risk. So we don't need more at this stage, we just need less risk. Less risk and stay away from stimulus. That's an interesting argument. But Dr. Greenspan, many would say that we are at the precipice of an imminent double dip. Mm -hmm. And the US perhaps might follow the Japan way of the last decades due to deflation. Mm -hmm. So how do we prevent that? Well, basically, the problem here is the fact that we have created a huge amount of credit in the banking system, as you know, and a huge amount of fiscal stimulus. In the banking system, which is essentially the most relevant issue here, uh, we are finding that no matter how much liquidity we are pouring in the system, we have over a trillion dollars of excess reserves in the banking system, that almost none of it is feeding through into lending. In short, what economists call the money multiplier which is the relationship between the monetary base which comes from, in the United States, the Federal Reserve's asset expansion, and money supply or loans in the part of the banking system. That relationship used to create a major acceleration in lending and business activity when the Federal Reserve would ease very dramatically. But we are in such a period of caution at this stage that what the data show is that the relationship between money supply on the one hand 